We are a year two flower farm and we sell retail bouquets out of our farm stand right there on our road. Well, I've just been watering all these plants today. These plants I started from seed and they're hardy annuals and they were started inside and I do soil blocks and then this is my hardening off station. Very fancy, I know. And we've got some projects in the background. But I'm hardening these off and probably today, depending on weather and whatnot, these are gonna be planted out in the garden. So I'm gonna show you what I've got going on back here. I started all these from seed and they're in these trays right here. I can't point backwards, not very good. But the trays, in this tray, each little tray, I can fit 40, 40 plants. And I do the soil blocking method and put them in the trays because I don't have that much space. And I need to do things on a smaller scale like this in order to start them because I just don't have enough space to start that many plants. In. And plus, actually, I've had much better luck starting seeds in soil blocks. All right, so here are the seeds. And this was started August 26. This is the Rebecca, it grows really slowly. The other seed that was started August 26, I have already planted out in the garden, which were snapdragons. But this grows really slowly. And then we've got some scabiosa, look at this fever few back there terrible germination. Bee balm right here. Um, snaps. And then this is new. I haven't grown this before. This is sunball. I actually started this last year and then it died during the polar blast. So I don't know. We'll see if this lives this year. And this is scabiosa. More two trays of snaps. This is all sweet William, different types. But look at this fever view. Pretty good germination over here. This is Nigella, which a lot of people direct seed, which I really didn't know when I started this seed. And then it was doing terrible. And so then I just set it outside. It's come up. Look, now a lot more coming up in there some dill. Bachelor buttons only have a couple, so I think I'm going to just direct seed that out. Some more dill. Sweet William, scabby, dill, and scabby. So that's what I've got going on out here. Of what's been going on in the garden in the fall me start not really starting but planting out some of the seedlings because it's October 28th no 20 30th the days right and tomorrow today it's getting up to 85 record high here in North Carolina and so tomorrow we've got a cold front coming in and then the next few days we're gonna get a frost so, we've been trying to get ready for that. <laughs> All right, well, another garden job that I need to do before this frost comes is to plant out some of my seedlings. 
Some of these died. I'm gonna fill in some holes on this status and then plant some more seedlings. Um, first I'm planting some status. Sorry about the angle there. Maybe one day I'll actually get What happened in this bed, as I'm planting, I'll tell you, what happened in this bed is Bob thought he was watering. We, we thought that this irrigation system was on and really it was not on. Um, we hadn't turned the little pipe thing on at the head like hadn't turned the header thing on so when I first planted these out for like a week they weren't getting water so we had a few of them perish and started some more to kind of fill in spots. And I gave Bob a hard time. He didn't really like status last year so he's like I don't think we should plant status again and I said which is true we didn't plant it I don't think we did we didn't plant I didn't plant it until very early spring so I did not fall plant it and I'm wondering if that's why it just, I don't know, it didn't grow to the height that it probably should have. And therefore, we couldn't use a lot of it because it wasn't tall enough. So I think that was the problem. But So I'm gonna try it again. They say you should try crops for three years. Like try them for three years, have a trial year, see how they do, try them. You know, because you don't know how to grow them and all the things. Um, I don't know about three years, but I definitely think two. I should give it another year. I was giving Bob a hard time because I said he did it because he was trying to kill the status because he didn't want it to grow. 
because he didn't like it. I'm cleaning these out. Because we are gonna, as you can tell, we pooped and we are gonna cover this. And there's frost coming and they've been hardening off. And they're gonna be better off in the ground than in the tray because their roots will be covered. So. I should plant these. Again, this is apricot status that I'm planting out. Then I'm gonna plant out some Godaisha, which is really pretty, the salmon Godaisha. I had really good germination on my salmon Godaisha. So that's what they look like in the ground, my little babies. There's the little babies. <laughs> these are the ones I planted out. Um, these were planted October like 5th, probably. So we'd. So here's a good comparison. I just planted this one. October 5th but like I said these are the ones that we didn't have the um, irrigation system turned on at the end we thought we were watering but we were not here we have some more I'm gonna plant some more of this out today. This is um, Crespedia. These are really cute little gold balls, yellow balls, um, sun balls, they're also called. So I'm gonna fill in a lot of that, a lot of that died. And this is a lot of dill. And look. There's another one. There's another one. So, and there's another one. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to hoop and cover. What are y'all gonna do? Um, I don't know. Then I think I have more. Oh man, oh man. I just got attacked by the fence. Okay. Um, looky here. All right. Oh yeah, two more. And another one. All these swallowtail caterpillars. And they're eating my dill. Look, they ate that one. I mean, that's fine. I don't mind. But if you see, you can see the tops right there the top of that dill over there i've got a ton of dill over there but i do have baby black swallowtails over there that's dill and this is lemon wow uh what is this lemon balm
is the Gadaisha that I planted. As you can see, it's very wilty. Um, it was kind of looking a little like that in the trays. So I knew it needed to be planted out. Anyway, so I did and I've watered it and done the best I could. So really kind of think it's going to bounce back and straighten up. Just give it a little time out here. And this is my Crespedia. Had some extra, planted it down here. Status, which I showed you, that's what I planted first. And then up here, this is Crespedia or Sunball. So I filled in all the spots that were empty, all the places that got killed by not getting water. And then of course, here's the dill with all of the big caterpillars, swallowtails on there that I just showed you. And then I do have snaps started to fill in the end of this row. And here are the snapdragons that I planted out the beginning of October. This is the end of October. So I think these are all looking good. I've got, as you can see here, you know, places where definitely some have died. So I can for sure fill in the holes here and also finish this row out. The ones I started, started October 10th, they are not big enough to go out yet. And this is my Scabiosa. I'm super excited about this. This will be the first time growing this. I think this will be fun in bouquets. Hopefully this will overwinter well. And then Rubecchia Maya, I believe. This is a new Rubecchia. I've not grown this. So hopefully that will do well. And this is Dianthus. Several different kinds looking well. This is my bachelor buttons. Grew a whole tray of it. Only, I don't know, about five or six out of 40 germinated. And here they are, oops, here they are. And actually one or two have also have died since I've planted them out. But you're supposed to direct seed them. I have in a whole nother row. So hopefully those will come up and do well. Fever few, it's looking good. Obviously you can see here, there's a few spots where a few have died, but that's okay. I mean, overall, it's looking really good. Straw flowers. We're heading into a frost in a couple of days, so all of these will die in the frost for sure. So we're not going to cover this over here. And these Rubecchia right here, Rubecchia Sahara, I think. Pretty sure these will perennialize. I've had some before that I didn't do anything with and they just came right back. So leaving these are just a few, just kind of a test. And I'm pretty sure that will go well. And then my Cosmos are looking really pretty, but they're gonna die in the frost. And then, see, I told you I had a lot of dill. This is my big patch of dill, but the big caterpillars aren't over here. Just the baby black swallowtails right there. And then that little black one right there. And there's a few more. So I don't know what'll happen. I'm guessing this is also gonna die in the frost. So I don't know what they're gonna eat then. And I don't have any that I know of on this little patch over here. But here are my, these are my favorite Cosmos. Look how pretty these are. I do actually really like the double click 
white as well but I mean these are just a great fall color right here oh look at little mr. B going to town right here my phone won't focus sorry about that after all the bees they're having a big time in the cosmos this is mahogany splendor first time growing it this year as you can tell it only grew a little bit looks really pretty especially with sunflowers a great filler but for me when you harvest it it wilts easily and it seems to wilt easily once it's in the vase with the bouquet and so I worry about it in the customer's hands at home. So I don't think I'm gonna grow that again. All right, so that was my planting day today. Well, part of my fall, get ready. Well, obviously it's fall, fall cleanup, fall garden chores, all the things fall so far. And I'm gonna take you, I gotta pick this up, hold on. Um, I'm gonna take you over to show you where I'm hardening oh I can't see where I'm hardening off some of my snapdragons but they're little babies and actually they're not um, really really I put them outside a little earlier than you should but the weather was good and my seedlings tend to do much better outside than inside obviously in the sunlight so i decided that it would be better for them to get some actual sunlight and then when this frost hit i would bring them inside and then you know let me show you all right, so these are my little soil blocks and these are all my baby snapdragons. So as you can see, not such great germination there. I mean, eh, a little bit better germination up here, but I think I'll have enough to finish the row. That's what I was going for. I actually just used all of the seeds I had left and just put them all in and hope for the best. So I'm going to plant all these out when they're big enough, but they're not big enough yet. But I really was hoping that if I set them outside for a few days while the weather is really nice, it would help harden them off a little bit. Plus the sunlight would really kind of stimulate them to grow a little bit quicker than being under the lights inside, which I really think has happened because these over here, their leaves have really kind of gotten bigger in just the last couple days since they've been outside quicker than I think it would inside. And then the little breeze has helped hardening them off. And then look over here. These are baby eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a super slow grower. I mean, I'll show you these come spring and they'll still be like, I'll have to pot these up a couple times before I can even put them out. But, baby snapdragons. All right. And then, if you're concerned about my little styrofoam trays, guess what? I wash them. Like, see, now you can see. Oh, it's not going to focus. There we go. And I, I wash them off. I actually use these loofahs that I've grown. They work perfect. And I really, um, I don't even use Dawn or anything. I rinse them, then I scrub them with the loofahs, then I rinse them off again, then I let them dry in the sun, and then they're good to go. And see, there's my whole stack of styrofoam trays that I use to put on my soil box, reuse them again. Now, sometimes they'll get a big crack in them and I have to throw them away. Other than that, I just keep reusing them. Morning, morning watering session with the babies so I've watered them there's water in the trays and then I let it sit for five minutes 
and then I'm about to just dump it out. Make sure everybody gets enough water. These are all about to go back probably tonight. I'll just probably put them back inside under the lights because they're too little to stay out during, or actually to be planted out yet. And we're gonna get a frost tomorrow. So this is kind of how much water I've got in my trays. And then luckily when I'm outside, I can just take them, dump them out. Super easy when I'm outside. Inside, of course, I have to, you know, have a pitcher and dump them in the pitcher. And they'll just sit here all day and they'll dry out. And by tomorrow when I come back in the morning to water them, I just water them once a day, they'll be dry. They need to go through that dry cycle, wet dry cycle. And the bouquet deal. Oh my goodness. One, see you snuggled up in there, two, look at him just eating away, three, see him in there, four, four in this patch, and then, this is, I think, this is just regular deal. One. I mean, look, they've eaten this to a nub. Two. Oh, where are you headed? Three. Oh, I think you're eating something. Four. Dude. Five. Six. Over in the regular dill patch. But no, don't go into my giant dill patch. Nope, just like the little babies that I planted over here. I get it. Uh huh. Just want to eat all my little baby ones that I planted. Okay. See how that goes. And then the black swallowtails still just have little babies. There's one. I mean, come on. The other swallowtails, they could be over here. But no, we just have little baby. I did have a whole bunch of the other swallowtails over here earlier in the season, and they ate it down to a nub, and then all this grew back. There's another one. Right there. Just eating away. They're harder to find because they're smaller right now. And I'm not covering this. So, I don't know. I guess y'all will be okay. I can only find two presently. But I mean, why can't, why can't they be in here? I can eat a ton of this. It's just the way it goes. It's fine. <laughs> 